Hey everybody, today I'm going to be taking a look at this 100 watt dot work portable solar panel. What's cool about this solar panel, you can see here it does have the handles and what's really nice is that it will fold open to expose the actual panels themselves. What's cool about this is it is IP67 rated so it's definitely going to be okay if you have it on a boat or something like that it gets splashed with water. And what else is really cool is that the panels themselves are 22% efficient. So this is going to be a really nice, efficient design. And again, what I really like is the fact that it's completely foldable. On the back here, you're going to have a little storage pouch that's built in. And this is going to house the different connectors that you can use to charge your different devices, like your portable power stations. You can also use it to charge your drones. So let's go ahead, get a little bit closer look at the panel itself and give it a try. So you can see here on the back of the panel, you do have a very nice long cord and you get the three different connectors. Now what's cool is you have this like XT60, you can use that with your drones, things like that. And there's a lot of different power stations that will be able to accept these other two barrel connectors and then this little connector here. What I really like too, is that it's gonna be easy to put this away. And I think one of the nice features is when you pull this out, it's a tripod. So here's a closer look at the actual solar panels themselves. Now what's really nice, it does have this kind of a rubberized coating on here. And what's nice about this is that the panels don't stick out and it's all one solid piece all the way through. So it's gonna be able to fold. And you also have these little magnets here to make sure everything stays together. So here's what the solar panels look like when they are fully extended. On the back here, you can see I have the two tripods set up. So it's got a pretty cool look to it here. Definitely is really neat with the handles and this, again, this material on here. I also forgot to mention this back material. It's a really nice fabric on here, so it does give it a really nice high quality feel. And this is definitely gonna be at home on a boat, your RVs, camping, pretty much anywhere. If you do some backpacking, it's light enough to carry you there. So here, I got this hooked up to a little drone battery charger and it is outputting right now at 22.8 volts. So that is how much energy is going into the charger here. Okay, so I have the solar panels now hooked up to the portable power station. And you can see here that it's pulling 30 watts out of the panels. And this is mainly because the battery is already at 92%. So the panel would be able to provide a lot more than what the power station needs right now. But overall, I can say that these panels are extremely portable. They would be awesome for any kind of backpacking trip, camping, uh, RV. You can use them on a boat, keep everything charged on the boat during, during the day. You can use this on overland trips, things like that. And the fact that they have the handles here, they're very lightweight, the tripod, and I really like this little material on the front here. It's gonna be, give a lot of protection to the solar panels over time. Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. This is the Love Knit 100 watt monocrystalline solar panel. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features of this solar panel. This panel does come with a kit of adapters. They're barrel plugs and also an Anderson. We'll get to that in just a moment. So on the back side of this panel, it has a pouch with a water resistant zipper. So I can unzip this to access the cable inside as you can see right here nice and long it also has a USB A and a USB type C and an LED indicator for the mode uh, to go over the info here this is the model HYD T100 peak power 100 watts 23% efficiency 18 volts 5.5 amp max temperature range 10 to 65 c open circuit voltage 21.6 short circuit current 6.1 amps usb type a 5 volt 3 amp usb c 5 volt 3 amp 
So uh, this pouch is water resistant, so you can put your phone or tablet in there to charge, even in a light drizzle, and it wouldn't uh, get that wet. So there's also these fold-out Velcro tabs, which allow you to angle this up into the sun. It has grommets, so you can mount this onto uh, the tree or the side of your RV, and a nice plastic carrying handle. And if I open this up, you can see those monocrystalline panels. It has a fabric uh, outer, and then the panel itself has a coating on it to help it stay uh, scratch-free and also water-resistant. All right, let's go ahead and get some numbers on this panel. I'm gonna open the panel up and pull out these little legs so that it will stand into the sun like this. There's one of those on each side, and that will allow us to get it propped up like that into the sun. And then I also want to open up the zipper pouch and pull out that cable so we can see how it's doing here. Now this thing is about 10 foot long, which gives you plenty of room to work with. I've got a multimeter. Let's go ahead and see what the voltage is here in the sun. 23.1 volts. To check the functionality of the panel, I've got this small power station. And I've noticed that the adapter I need is this white one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the barrel plug. And then I can plug this up to the input of the power station. And I'll bring you a little closer so you can see that turn on. I also have this little flashlight that I need to charge up. And this is gonna be connected directly to the back of the panel on that uh, box. So let me show you that as well. The screen here on this power station is very reflective, but it is currently getting 60 watts in and is charging at 44%. So let's step back out here in a little bit and see what this is charged up to. In order to charge my little flashlight, I'm going to put the USB into the side of this box, just like that. And then I can plug this up in here. All right, and once I move this back into the sun, we should be able to see the light turn on. Okay, and there's the green light of this flashlight charging. It's been exactly one hour. We're now at 64% charge and it's got 57 to 60 watts coming in. Now I did forget to mention that that power station only accepts 60 watts in. Uh, so this thing will probably hit somewhere closer to 90 watts as it's uh, charging a power station that will accept that. Also, that flashlight is still being charged here. I noticed that the uh, green light was still on. Let's see if I can show that. Yeah, right in there. So yes, this panel is doing exactly what it's advertised to do. It is charging up a USB device and also a power station here in this sunlight. Okay, now that we've seen this panel is working well, I'm gonna go ahead and put things back into the storage compartment back here. Go ahead and unplug this light. So if you are looking for a solar panel that you can put in the sun to charge up something like a power station or a tablet or cell phone, then this would be a good option for you. You can find this panel on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description down below. Uh, it runs somewhere around the $200 mark. And it comes with the Anderson plug and then several of those barrel plugs, which I'm gonna keep those in the little side pouch here. And that concludes the first look of the LoveKnit 100 watt monocrystalline fold-out solar panel. Definitely check the link in the description below for this on Amazon. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.